Okay, YouTubers, this is the Angry Prepper. Thank you for watching the Angry Truth channel. So today's video, we're gonna talk about permanent inflation. So this is something that I caught today by accident. I guess I was just thumbing around online. I saw this article, I started reading it. I'm like, all right. So now Jerome Powell, who is, I guess, in charge of the Federal Reserve, uh, stated today, or yesterday, sorry, that we might be headed towards a permanent inflation, meaning prices are going to stay high and they're not going to come down. A year ago, actually not even a year ago, about a month ago to the date, he stated that we were in a, we were no longer in a transitory, transitory inflation, but that we weren't permanent either, that we weren't gonna stay permanent. A month later, now he's saying the possibility of this being permanent the inflation that is is more likely now anthony saramucci said back in december actually december 9th of 2021 that the inflation was transitory and it wasn't going to be a long-term problem well now what is it seven eight months later now they're seeing it becoming a long-term problem and being permanent here's the problem with it becoming permanent it's first of all as if they're doing it on purpose but also, guys, if this becomes permanent, if things stay priced high, if things keep, if prices keep climbing, sorry, people are going to be, and people now actually are out of reach of a lot of things. People are buying cheaper uh, brands to make up for what they used to eat. So if they ate spaghettis, for example, and you had, you eat you were eating Razzoni uh, spaghettis, now you got to go to fucking. Uh, you know, Jimmy the Dick face spaghetti because it's a lot cheaper, right? So people are making sacrifices in that way and some people are even sacrificing meals and that's here in the United States. Now the UK, they were already talking about skipping meals, but here we're talking about skipping meals and buying cheaper brand. Guys, if things stay high, if prices stay high and things, things will continue to be out of reach for many Americans. And if their income doesn't increase, if they don't get a raise or the company gives them a, a raise to offset this inflation, people are going to start, not start, but they're, they're going to be living a very, very cheaper life. Now, like I said before, will we see starvation? I think so. I think by the end of this year, we're going to see some heavy starvation, especially if there is no cooling off of this inflation. If things keep rising, if the feds keep dropping the hammer and raising the interest rate, things are going to get out of reach very fast and people are not going to be able to eat the normal foods they eat and or skip more meals. And hell, in some cases, they might even skip an entire day. Once you start doing that, guys, now you're entering uh, the hunger zone. And in some, in some cases, it could end up into starvation. Now, part of the inflation problem is also the supply chain, right? So the supply chain issue is still there. Things are still locked up, not being made, not being shipped. And they thought that the supply chain issue was going to reverse itself or correct itself, and it hasn't. So being that now this is, start, this is still a problem, this is a part of the reason why inflation is going up. It's not the only or sole reason, but it's also part of the reason. Now, here's a, a quick story. I ordered the, the Tahoe 2022. It took about, probably about two months to get the truck, the, the Tahoe uh, 2022, the RST to be exact. I ordered that two months ago, almost three months ago, and I ordered the rims at the same exact time. Well, because of the whole supply chain issue, the truck was made ahead of time, and now it's sitting at a dealership in Jersey because the wheels weren't fucking uh, developed or made it at a certain time, and now it's gonna take an additional week to get here. Again, that's part of the whole supply chain issue. And now that's, a, in my book, that's a small problem. Though I would, I would have rather had the truck now. So be it. It's going to be a week later. But we are still seeing these problems, and these problems are still not freeing them up. Now, some people are blaming China because of the huge tie-ups they have at their ports, whether that's stuff coming in or leaving. There's still huge tie-ups at their ports. So a lot of people are blaming China, but China is trying to... I guess, absolve themselves of this issue. And they're just like, well, it's not just us. Clearly it is. People are saying that if you look off the ports, at the ports in China, you can see ships sitting out there for days, if not weeks. Now, guys, again, keep in mind, if this is a permanent inflation, there is a solution, but that solution is also probably going to compound inflation even more if you raise pay of people working. So if you raise the payment of working people or their salary, 
or the hourly wages, whatever it is, this can also compound the compound inflation as well. So it's a delicate balance right now, but increasing the interest rate is going to screw a lot of people over. Having food prices rise, water prices rise, gas prices rise, is going to start making things out of reach for people. And what happens to people when things are out of reach, when they can't get that gas or that food or that water? They start stealing. They turn into thieves, robbers. They'll fucking come into your house and hold you up for whatever you might have or what you might not have. They don't know. They're just coming in. So again, crime is going to increase with inflation. People seem to forget that whole part about uh, inflation. Crime goes with inflation. Inflation gets too high, more criminals are going to be out there doing criminalistic shit. So if you got people already stealing gas right now, I would say stealing it. They're, they're not actually robbing you. They're not doing that gunpoint or force. They are just rolling up to gas stations and manipulating machines and or uh, dropping hoses in the tanks and draining it out from there. They're going to get to a point or it's going to get to a point where things become more physical. Where now people are actually going hands on to steal your gas and or your vehicle and they might steal the vehicle just to steal the gas. So there's a lot of things guys that are now on the table because inflation is high. We are seeing crime rise because people are robbing people for shit that they weren't robbing people for a year ago. So with inflation, guys, this is going to go up. It's going to continue to go up. The feds are going to raise the interest rate again. If I'm not mistaken, either next month or September. Just keep your head on the swivel because once things start getting desperate, people are going to start making desperate moves and actions. All right, guys, other than that, this is the Angry Prepper. Thank you for watching the Angry Truths channel, and I will see you in the next video.